Hey everyone, it's Baron Dex again, and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Um, as you can see, my setup is looking a lot different right now. Um, my monitor's pixels were acting up, and so I had to send it in to get fixed. The part that I need is on back order, so the next few videos may be this setup. So I think it'll work for now, but just bear with me while I'm waiting for that to come back in. Today we're going to be talking about an issue that I see that's permeated throughout the gaming community as far as long as I've been a part of it. And that is kind of this vendetta or anger that the gaming community has towards the gaming industry and the individuals within it. So let's get right into the video. So the way this video is going to work is I'm just going to kind of talk about this topic and kind of give you my thoughts and perspective on it. And I would love to know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Let me know your kind of thoughts on the gaming community and the gaming industry and how they interact, how they intersect with one another. Um, and I'd love to get some discussion going as long as it stays positive. Some parts of the gaming community laud a lot of anger and vitriol towards the gaming industry as a whole, as well as the individuals who work within it. And it doesn't matter if they're a reviewer or a podcaster, developer, none of them are exempt from having this anger brought against them. And it doesn't take much for these parts of the gaming community to exhibit this kind of behavior. And if we look at types of content like reviews or opinion pieces, these are almost guaranteed triggers for this part of the fan base. And to some extent, if we're looking at the negative reviews or negative opinions about games, I could see why some would have feelings such as anger. And I think we can all agree with the sentiment that if we really like a game or we're really excited for a new game, we don't necessarily like having people talk about it negatively. And while I can kind of see that perspective, it doesn't therefore allow or make it right for this part of the community to harass, degrade, make personal attacks against these people all because they disagree with what they said. It isn't okay and it has to stop. These individuals aren't malicious or out to hurt the gaming community. And I know this because I've had the great opportunity to meet a good chunk of them. And I have friends within this industry myself. And they are genuinely kind people who really do love video games. They, just like all of us, have opinions about video games. And those opinions will be things we agree or disagree with. And that's perfectly okay. And just because they have these opinions, it doesn't inherently make them deserving of such hurtful and harmful behavior. Video games, the industry, the community, they have all come so far, but in some ways it feels like the community is still stuck in the days of the Modern Warfare 2 in-game voice chats. I think it is time for the community to move on and grow. Being in this community doesn't need to be such a contentious and toxic experience. We all love video games, so let's all come together in that shared love of this medium. And we will disagree, that's okay. But in doing so, we can be kind, empathetic, and just do it with the understanding that our words will reach another person. And so that is all the more reason to be mindful of what we say and how we say something. If we all can try and do our best with this, this community will continue to grow and become even better. Thank you so much for watching my video. I know this is a little bit more short form content than what my previous couple videos have been. I just wanted to have a brief talk and give my thoughts or perspective on this subject. And hopefully I've given some of the community something to think about. Maybe as we move forward, we can just be a little more thoughtful about how we talk to one another and be mindful of the things we say. And as I said in the beginning of the video, let me know your thoughts and perspective on this. Let me know down in the comments down below and let's just keep it positive and productive. And hopefully we can just all work together and make this community even better. But until next time, I've been Varim Dex and I hope you all have an amazing day.